So as I said, we turn left and just continue straight along here beside the railings till we get to the main road. So we just carry on straight. Okay, when we reach the main road here, we're going to cross over and then into the park across the road there. So we just cross over and enter the park there over on my left. Okay, we've just crossed over the main road, Bishop's Ford Road. And we just cross over the bridge here and turn left into the park. And there below, below the bridge here, which we're just crossing, is the River Wandle again. So we just carry on beside the banks of the Wandle. Okay, we've just crossed over the bridge and all we're going to do is turn to our left and follow the River Wandle all the way along till we get to the other end. Okay, so this is Ravensbury Park and we're just going to continue straight beside the River Wandle. Just continue straight on the path here, all the way to the other end, along the beside the River Wandle. Just cross over the bridge and just carry on straight round beside the River Wandle. Okay, when you come to this bridge here, we're going to turn to our left when we get over to the other side. Okay, so when we get over the bridge here, we just turn to our left and carry on straight round beside the river. Okay, when you reach this point in the path, we just continue straight in front, beside the railings, beside the River Wandle. So you ignore the bridge there on our left. What we do is carry on straight beside the railings along till we leave the park. So as I said before, we just ignore that bridge there on my left and we just carry along the path here beside the River Wandle. Just carry on straight. Just carry on straight. Just carry on straight along the path here. Just carry on straight. Cross the Just follow the path straight. Okay, when we reach this point in the path, we leave Ravensbury, we're going to cross over the road there, turn to our right, and then we're going to enter Morden Hall Park. Okay, so what we're going to do is carry on straight, cross over the road to our right, turn to our right, and then enter Morden Hall Park. Okay, we cross at the traffic lights here, as I said, and then we're going to turn left into Morden Hall Park there, okay? And I'll start the second half of our journey on the Wandle River. Okay, when you reach this point in the road, we're going to turn left here into Morden Hall Park. And I'll show you where to go from there. Just give you a little view of where we just come from. As I said, we just entered a park here. And we're just going to go along with that fellow with his two dogs along the avenue of trees. So we just continue straight in front. Yeah, just carry on straight in front till they say when we're going to turn left. So we just carry on straight between the avenue of trees. Okay, when we reach this point in the path, we just turn to our left and continue round. Just continue straight ahead. Now we've got Morden Hall Manor there on my left. And as I said, we just carry on until I say when. We've just crossed over a little bridge there, a little footbridge or whatever, but anyway, we just carry on straight on the... Just carry over this little bridge here and we bear to our right. Now we've just crossed over that rather ornate white bridge and as I said, we just bear to our right here and continue straight. Just cross over these two bridges here to the other side and carry on. Now can we just cross over this second bridge here and we bear to our right. And we cross over that bridge there, the second bridge. I said turn to our right, no, I mean carry on straight on the path on our left. So on the fork here, just keep on the outer path on the left side. Okay. Okay, we cross this bridge here and we just carry on round to our left and then right where that jog is coming. So we just follow round that path straight in front. So we just cross over the little wooden bridge and all we do is carry on straight on this path in front round towards Dean City Farm. So ignore this path here 
on our left, which takes us all the way if, when we leave the park to Morden Underground Station. So we just carry on straight in front. Just carry on, follow the path through. Carry on along this path, we're going to cross over the railway line here and then turn to our right. So we just carry on straight in front. So as I said, we just cross over the tracks here and turn to our right and continue through. Okay, when you reach this point, we just cross over that little well, footbridge type thing and follow the path round to our left. Okay, and we're going to be continuing along beside the waddle. As I said, we just follow the path round to our left and carry on beside the wand with Wandle. Just carry on straight along this path here. We've got the Wandle here on our right. Anyway, just carry on straight. Okay, when you reach this point, you just carry on straight through the car park, straight ahead. As I said, we just go through the car park here, straight ahead. Okay, when you reach this point, just cross over the road here and carry on straight beside the Wandle. Okay. As I said, we just basically carry on straight, straight on. Okay, with the River Wandle on our right hand side, just carry on straight. Just carry on straight. Okay, when we reach this point, all we're basically going to do is go up across the road and carry on straight on the other side. As I said, we just cross over these lights here and we're going to carry along beside the Wandle on the other side. As I said, we just cross over those traffic lights here, we just carry on straight. Just carry on straight on the path. Okay, when you reach this point in the path, we go onto the main road, cross over, past the bus garage, and then we're going to turn left up by Wandle Bank. So we just walk along, well, walk we'll along the main road here, so it's hell, wait till you. Okay, as I said, we're on the main road, cross over by the traffic lights here, turn right till we pass the bus garage, and then we're going to turn left up by Wandle Bank, which rejoins the Wandle River. So we just cross these lights here and turn right and then left past the gas. Okay, this is Merton Bus Guard. As I said, we just pass the bus guard and then we're going to turn left into Wandle Bank. Okay. As I said, we turn left here along Wandle Bank until we turn right. I'll tell you when to turn right, but anyway, we just carry on straight here beside the railings. Now continue straight. If you want, to, you can cross over the bridge and go through the park, but anyway, I'm continuing straight and then I'm going to turn right. Okay, so we just carry on straight. Okay, when you reach this point, you just follow the road here round to your right, by Grave Road, into By Grave Road. So we just follow the road round here to our right. Okay, continue round By Grave Road here until I say when. So you could have crossed that bridge there and went through the park and come over this exit here. But anyway, we just carry on straight round. Right, by the house there, there's a signpost there, footpath, that's the turning we take on our left and follow it all the way through till we get to Plough Lane. Okay, so we turn left there by that house there, the first house and the uh, built brick wall. Just carry on straight all the way through. As I said, we just carry on straight, carry on straight in front. When you reach this point, just cross over this road here and just carry on straight, straight in front. Okay, you've reached this point. All we do now, as I said before, is we just continue straight on in the path in front. So just continue straight. Continue straight on. We just come under a little bridge there, but anyway, continue straight. As I said, all we do is continue straight. Okay, we've got the river, river wandle beside me on my left. Bit hard to see at the moment with all the bushes, but anyway, carry on straight. Oh, we've got his factories and other... Anyway, carry on straight. Okay, when you come to this little bridge here, ignore it. Just continue straight on the path in front. Okay, the first decent glimpse of the river wandle beside the path. As I said, we just carry on straight. Okay, when we reach this point in the path, we're going to cross over the road here, Plough Lane, turn to our left and then right, rejoining the wandle. The river Wandle. Okay, so we leave here, cross over the road to our right, and then 
turn down to our left to rejoin the River Wandel. Okay, we cross out these lights here, as I said, turn to our left and then immediate wipe over the bridge and we continue beside the Wandel. As I said, we turn right down this path, we've just come over the bridge, we turn right down here along the path again beside the Wandel, just carry on straight. Yeah, as I said, we just keep on going straight beside the railings here, straight to the other end. Okay, we're heading towards Ellsfield now. Ellsfield Overground Station. So we carry on straight. Continue going straight. Just carry on straight. Okay, when we reach this point of path, we just carry on straight in front. Just carry on straight. As I said, we just carry on straight in front. Okay, when we reach this point in the path, we're going to turn right across the bridge and then eventually we're going to turn left into Summary Road. Anyway, we're going to turn right here over the bridge and I'll tell you when we turn left. Okay, when we reach this point, we're going to turn, as I said, left into Summerlee Street. Okay, and that's going to take us all the way up towards Ellsfield Station. So we're going to turn immediate left here into Summerlee Street. Now we continue all the way along Summerlee Street until we get to the main road. So let's continue straight all the way around. Okay, when we reach the top of Summerlee Street, we're going to turn left and we're going to go under Earls, Earls, Earlsfield Station, Main Line Station, and then we're going to turn left into Penrith Road, or Penrith Street, I'm not too sure, but anyway, Penrith Road. So we're going to turn left here. At the, as I said, we've turned left and we just carry on straight underneath the bridge at Earlsfield until we get to Penrith Street, or Penrith Road, sorry. Anyway, just carry on straight. Okay, when you reach this point, we turn left here into Penrith Road and we just carry on straight along until we get to Cooper Road, okay, where we're going to turn right. So we're going to turn left here into Penrith Road and just carry on straight. Okay, we'll be passing over this little bridge here and we just carry on straight. Okay. Okay, when you reach this sign on the lamppost, we're going to take the turn in on our right here at Cuba Road and that'll take us straight into the park. Okay, so we're going to turn right here at a Cuba Road. Okay, we've turned left, sorry, we've turned right into a Cuba Road here and we just carry on till we enter the park. So just carry on straight till we enter the park. So here we are at the gates of the park and basically all we do is follow the path, the pedestrian path, all the way round till we get out the outside by the other side of Wandsworth because we're, well, the jog's nearly finished now or the Wandle Trail's nearly finished and we're near the River Thames so basically all we do is enter the park and just follow the path in front As I said we've entered the park and all we do is follow the pedestrian marked path here all the way round Okay, as I said before, we just continue round on the marked path. See where that dog is coming towards us? Just continue round. Okay, just go through the gate and just carry on straight across. Just continue straight in front. Okay, just a quick glimpse of the River Wandle before it disappears into Wandsworth town centre. Anyway, we just carry on straight. Now that's what we've been following all the way from East Croydon, the River Wandle and it comes to its destination here at the River Thames shortly. Okay, when you reach this point, just cross over the traffic light and continue straight on into the next section of the park. Just continue on the path round, down the steps. Okay, we've just come down those steps, then we just follow the path, continue the path straight on. Okay, when you reach this point, we leave the park and we turn to our left and continue beside the park here so we leave here and we just continue along the path on our left yeah just continue straight along here until i say when okay we just still carry on till we get to the end here just continue straight to the end of the road and then, I, then we're going to turn right so just continue straight to the top Okay, when we reach the top, we're going to turn right here and we're going to go towards Wandsworth town. 
I'll just give you a picture of what's happening here, all new building work here. So anyway, as I said, we just turn to our right here. Just carry along straight along here until we get to the end. Okay, when you reach this point, what we're going to do is going to cross over by the traffic lights there to the other side and then head on towards our right. So as I said, we cross over by these traffic lights here and head on straight towards our right. Okay, we just crossed over the traffic lights here. I'm looking down at the Wandle, the River Wandle, heading straight into the Thames now. And we just cross over the bridge here and we're going to turn down to our left. Okay, and try and follow the Wandle to Wandworth Bridge. Okay, when we reach this point, we're going to turn left into Rams Street beside, well, it doesn't seem to be open anymore, the Ram Public Coast, an old Young's pub. So anyway, what I say, we turn to our left here. And we're going to cross over and turn to our right. Okay, we're still in Ram Street here beside the old Young's Brewery and as I said we just carry along Ram Street until we turn right okay just carry on straight and when we reach the end we turn to our right give me some views there then we just cross over and just carry on straight we just carry on straight along here until we get to Wandsworth Overground Station and when you get to this point we cross over the lights here and we just continue straight in front till we get to the British Rail Station. Wonder British Rail Station. We just carry on straight across these lights as well, straight on in front till we get to the railway station. As I said we just carry on straight here until we get to the railway station. And that's the end of the Wandle Trail. From here the Wandle just goes into the tent by Wonder Bridge and that's it. You can't really see much of it anymore now. Okay, well this is the end of the Wandle Trail for me. We've come all the way from East Croydon, following the River Wandle to this point, where it disappears, and all these buildings, etc., and comes out by Wandsworth Bridge. Okay, this is where the Wandle River Trail ends for me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'll just give you a little panoramic view. Now this video might be split into one or two sections, maybe two sections, okay, so persevere with it. Well as I said, this is where the jog ends, the Wandle River, or the Wandle Trail, and hopefully you enjoy the jog.